I'm Devin Bartolotta, and here are the latest headlines from WJZ. Baltimore County Police are investigating after a Morgan State University alum is shot and killed outside of a bar. Officials say 25 year old Tracy Carrington was getting into a car Thursday night with a friend when an unknown gunman walked up and shot her multiple times. Police believe this was a targeted shooting. A source tells WJZ Carrington was a witness to a double murder that happened in a Towson apartment complex earlier this year. Anyone with information is urged to contact police. A federal judge sentences the mistress of a U.S. Army sergeant to 17 years in prison for helping kill his wife in Anne Arundel County. According to our media partner, the Baltimore Sun, 33-year-old Dolores Delgado was sentenced Friday after pleading guilty to crossing state lines to commit domestic violence resulting in death. The Texas woman testified in the case last month against Sergeant Malik Kearney. Kearney was convicted of shooting his wife to death at her Severn home in 2015 and then staging the scene. Delgado testified to supplying the murder weapon and allowing Kearney to drive her car to Maryland to carry out the murder. An MS-13 gang leader here in Maryland pleads guilty to a number of charges that could land him in prison for life. The Capital Gazette reports 25-year-old Jose Augustin Salmeron Larios pleaded guilty Friday to a conspiracy to participate in MS-13 and attempted murder in aid of racketeering, among other charges. Prosecutors described him as the founder and leader of the gang's program in Maryland. The newspaper reports he remains in jail and is scheduled to be sentenced in December. MS-13 is believed to have thousands of members nationwide, primarily immigrants from Central America. Let's head over now to Meg McNamara with an update on the forecast. Meg. Well, hi, Devin. So that cold front is certainly doing its job as we take a look at the temperatures map for across the state. Baltimore, we are only in the mid-60s right now as we take a look at portions there of western Maryland, Oakland. 52 degrees for you, low 70s over the eastern shore. In addition to being cool, it is damp, more damp at certain times than others. There is significant rainfall, though, on the way, which is why we have this flood watch. So this just starts at 2 a.m. Sunday morning and lasts through Monday morning at 6 a.m. One to three inches of rain is possible. So we are going to see some heavier rains, some consistent rainfall as well. So what can we expect tonight? Well, we're going to dip down to right around 60, not too much cooler from where we are right now. The potential for things to be breezy in the wake of that cold front northeast winds right around 10 miles an hour tomorrow, more like 15 miles an hour. So it is going to be breezy at certain times. Temperatures tomorrow only in the mid 60s. Rain is likely, which I know is unfortunate for our Ravens game, but that is the case. So check that out Sunday, a high expected of 65, nearly 20 degrees warmer as we head back to work on Monday. Devin? All right, thanks, Meg. Check in with WJZ at 11 for the updated forecast and all of today's developing stories. I'm Devin Bartolotta.